Welcome to the Arizona Wildcats show brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. With Senior Day coming up on Saturday, Arizona basketball coach Sean Miller talked about each one of his seniors. Here's what he had to say about senior guard Gabe York. Gabe York, um, you know, it's hard for me to even talk about him because guys like Gabe York don't become seniors at, in one program anymore because they just they had it so tough at the beginning not playing that they don't stick it out. They leave. But just watching him, you know, his career is like a staircase where he starts here and you look at him now as a senior, again, an all-conference type of player, having the best year of his career. He, too, will graduate. And, uh, you know, Gabe struggled this past week, but that happens when you're a focal point and you've carried the weight and the burden from game one all the way through. He's probably wondered a lot in the offseason how it will feel to be the guy who starts and takes the most shots. And there's a lot of good with that. And there's also a lot of responsibility. So he saw kind of the other side this past week. And, you know, heck, we needed him to play better. But I have a great feel for, that he'll play really well this weekend at home. And, but how he's played this season and who he is as a person, you know, his mom, uh, just an incredible person. Uh, what she's done for Gabe and their relationship is really special. So just have a lot of uh, great feelings about him. It'll be hard to see these guys go because in, in my case, um, we've really been tied together for more than five years. I've only been the coach here for seven. And in, in large part, as you guys know, it's, it's that class that sometimes in a way changed the direction maybe of, of where we were headed and where we ended up going. Gabe was my, my roommate freshman year. Um, the first time I ever saw him play, I think, was at Adidas Nations. Um, maybe, you know, going into my junior year or senior year, we were on the same team. And um, it, was, it was before I had committed anywhere. And I remember Gabe, uh, you know, he's a, he's a funny dude. He was trying to get me to, to come here, obviously. And he was passing me the ball a lot. And, you know, him and I, him and I won a lot of games. And so him and I have, have really uh, been close over these four years. And to watch him develop as a player and a person, you know, on and off the court has been, uh, has been tremendous. It's been really a pleasure to see. And, you know, he's playing his best basketball right now. He's really, you know, contributing a lot. He's being a great leader for, for our team. And, um, you know, it's, it's great to see. Sean has talked about how, you know, his career here has been kind of a staircase. Did you ever have any conversations with him as a freshman about, you know, stay the course, it's going to be okay, maybe during that time was just thinking about whether or not there was going to be the right place for him? Um, you know, I always wanted Gabe to stay here, obviously. Um, you know, he was one of my closest friends um, from day one. Um, you know, I was obviously had a, a different path than him here at Arizona, like you said. You know, I've, I've uh, been a starter pretty much since day one. And uh, he had some guys ahead of him his, his you know, freshman, sophomore, junior year. Um, you know, I, I never felt like I was really in a position to give him a, a advice, you know, even though we had different career paths, you know, I was still a freshman, a sophomore, just like him. Um, you know, we were kind of going through similar things in different ways. And, um, you know, that was, I felt really on the older guys to do that. But I think, you know, um, for Gabe, he's, he's really done a good job of kind of, um, you know, balancing that ad adversity and, and really just, you know, putting on himself to get better every day. And he's done a great job of that. And, you know, obviously it shows um, with his performance this year. Does that surprise you looking back that he, he did come back? Because it's almost like, and I coach alluded to this, that in this day and age, guys of your level come in. If it doesn't happen, you know, if you don't get off the bench, but you didn't have the games, you mean you just leave. Um, you know, I think that's one of the problems with, with college basketball and maybe not even just college basketball society today. Um, you know, when things don't go people's ways, they have a tendency to flee and run. You know, I think some of the best things happen to the best people when they're willing to, you know, kind of fight through that adversity and really, um, you know, just, just understand who they are and understand that, you know, if they work hard, and uh, they'll get better every day. Uh, to be honest, I think we were just raised the right way. Yeah, we come from great families. Gabe's mom has really taught him how to how to act as a person on and off the court. And um, you know, for me and Gabe, it's um, it's just been a it's been a journey. It's been a process, and we've gone through it together. And 
Um, you know, it hasn't always been, you know, the easiest, you know, the, the most direct path, but I think that him and I are both happy where it's led uh, us to now. Yep, uh, both of our parents, uh, they come out for the, the basketball season. They, they live in Tucson, um, and so they, they watch the games. We're on the road together, and um, like I said, we've, we've had a, a great journey here together. Try this matchup, low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's.